Welcome back to the Floor Is Not Lava Anymore Challenge, spoiler alert, for episode 7 with me, Mr. Sidley P. It's March here on the Forest Challenge map. The Floor Is Lava Challenge is about to change, but rather radically, um, it will no longer be the Floor Is Lava, the Floor Is Not Lava is what we're going to be calling it moving forward. I might just have to cross out on my logo. Um, I have made a decision based on the fact that um, you'll see when the sun comes up a bit more. It is, it's getting there, but as we're finding, once it goes above the tree line, past the mountains, we're absolutely fine. Um, I have cleared a crater about the size of a small nuclear device going off. Um, and I'm, I'm well over a thousand trees. Uh, let's have a look. How many trees are we? 1,110 trees cut down. And doing it the way I've been doing it has taken ages. Hence the reason the gaps between videos, plus the other content and mods and map tours and snow runner and expeditions and, you know, mother let's plays have wound down. And I want to kind of do a bit more pioneering on this. I'm not saying this is going to be my only let's play. Um, but that's the decision I've come to. Also means I can just whiz around now and I can start clearing tree stumps. We can probably get some vehicles. We can start ploughing fields out, making these into fields. I might even plant some more trees. Um, that's something I noticed, I suddenly realised actually. If I go into build mode and we go to landscaping, go to trees, there are none. Plants, there are none. Now, the little screenshot you've just seen at the start of this, when I had all my money, <laughs> which disappeared rather quickly. Um, you know, there was that second-hand Volvo. I bought it. I said I wasn't going to, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's buy the second-hand Volvo. So I did, which was probably a mistake. However, it may have... I say it's not that it hasn't turned into a mistake. It's um, I've got to find little places to put all this stuff. Every time I place something down, it keeps falling over, so I've got to be careful. Um, let's... There we go, that wasn't too bad. Um, we've got to sell all of our stuff all today, but I'll let you into where we've been. And the good thing is, once the sun comes up, because I'm no longer lavering it, and I'll show you all the bits where I've been... I've been wood chipping, I've been cutting trees down, I've been tr still bringing trees back whole, as you'll see here, and then cutting them in half when I get here which seems to be a far easier process. I'm still doing that, even though I'm still using those shipping containers. The shipping containers, I've got two, and both of them are full. So we go into our menu here, and we go to there, go to the bottom, 199,294, 199,009. I couldn't get any more, unless I cut a tree up, I could probably get it to closer to 200,000, but both of those are full. Uh, as far as wood chip goes, I've got 814,000 litres, in there, 337,000 litres of wood. I need to put some more wood in to keep that chugging away. We've got a load of pallets of furniture and pellets. They need to be sold today. Our charcoal and everything else is chugging away. But yeah, on to this. So this was second hand. But since the last episode of this I recorded, the one that I had talked about a lot, the one that I've used a lot, is now available. And it's half the price of that second hand. So I'm going to buy one and sell that back so what i've got to do first i can take my sell anything box around as i was using an alma but the ones that i can't use it for are these ones here these i have to use this for it'd be nice just about like i say just about a whiz around and even just whizzing around without the floor is lava being a challenge the amount of forestry i've done already and the amount of forestry i've still got to do it's still a massive proposition there's still a lot that needs to be done it just, um, yeah. I think I can make it a little bit easier on myself. I'll probably do with getting a rear weight for this actually. Because I don't feel that I need to. Oh, it's alright, it's not too bad. I wasn't sure if it would pick all those up. Hopefully, it's got to get past there. Then we'll be alright. Until then, torch on. Let's go. I will sell that. So I'm going to sell the Volvo and buy the, um, uh, the Lipe 902 is what I'm aiming for. 
I switched the furniture off from here because it was hampering the production of a planks, strangely. If these ever respawn. Yeah, more. There we go. Um, are we selling? We are. Move that up there a little bit. We leave that to sell, and then as they respawn, they should keep doing that until we run out of everything that's in here. So that will keep chugging away. So what I need to do now is come over to... I tried that thing. I tried Stuart's method of putting down a little marker on the ground for where the triggers are. Unfortunately, it won't allow you to repaint where the um, spawn point is. Oh, it's so annoying. If I spend a bit of money repairing it, we'll get top dollar for it. That's the plan. Could have been easier just put the icons on a name. There we go. Right, repair and repaint. Won't cost us too much. Do that. Uh, repaint. That was a bit more expensive. Huh? Of 118,000, is that all? Well, that's all I'm going to get. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't as good a deal as I thought, mind you. We're still cracking away on here. There's a little bit left to spawn. So, anyway, right. The matter in hand, we're going to go for. Uh, miscellaneous the Lee pair 902 am I going to go for tracked or wheeled I don't know whether or not to go for the wheeled as a no I'm not <laughs> I don't know why I'm even considering it <laughs> I should have the forestry option just for my own safety but I find it really difficult to see out the cab when you've got the forestry option on but we are doing forestry so I will uh, beacons we're going to go for those low profile and then colour. I'm just going for something different, or is that just going to blend into the background? That does look cool, but it is a bit. Is that a bit too corma? Is that a bit too obvious? A bit too ordinary. Orange is my default. Orange and green. I mean, that's the only colours that are on it. <laughs> Orange and green. Nice, and we've still got 199,298 in the bank. So another couple of months as we go forward, and we should be right. That technically makes this redundant now. I don't need that if we're going to use that instead. So we can sell that. That's cool. Right, let's do that. that. How are our lights on it? Pretty good. It's not like we're going to be travelling across the entire map. So... If I attach that on, that gives me the ability to shove logs around and tidy up piles if I need to. I'm going to move the uh, grab out of the way. Uh, that needs to go... That was weird. Why did my money just go up? Did a new pallet spawn? Oh, maybe. There we go. Cool. Let's move that out of the way. I'm piling up so much equipment. <laughs> I'm going to need, and the good thing is now, as I start to clear ground, get rid of stumps and stuff like that, I can put in a shed, 
we can start building a farmstead up as well as the forestry. So, Mr. Peace Farm and Forestry. I do love this thing. <laughs> the evolution of this over time is just awesome. Like I said, Holmerkra had one of these and I just used it exclusively for a hundred thousand. And there are loads of them. There's loads of different ones in the mod tub. I'm not saying any other ones are bad or anything like that, but it just works. I mean, I don't know, actually. I don't think the head on this... Oh, that's a good point. I'm pretty sure the cutting head on this doesn't do very big trees. So you would need one of the bigger ones for that. I'm just hoping this will do the trees I've got. That's a good point, actually. Hadn't even thought to check that. Uh, we want cut length on, 8 metres. That's where we've been most of the time. We'll take that out. Just doing that. In a little while. To our next cutting zone. Isn't it weird I'm still sticking to the path? <laughs> My brain is, even though I've, I've said it out loud, no, we're going to do this now. My brain is still like, no, follow the path. Stick to the path. Don't go on the moor. What film? What film? Put in the comments. I mean, that may not have been an exact um, quote, but it was close. To take it further up. Yes, I do. It's going to fall over now, isn't it? Let's try that. There we go. So, that. How much? 37. Oh, that's right. That's not bad, is it? Uh, if we repaint it. 39. Excellent. Let's sell that. Didn't I? Oh, I say... No. <coughs> I was going to make a, a, one of my sweeping statements then. So I didn't actually have it that long. Um, no. As far as videos go, as far as what you saw, at the end of the last episode, I bought it and started using it. Off camera, I used it an absolute ton. Um... So, yeah, I guess from that perspective, I, I barely used it, but I really did. Uh, right. Next, then. What do I want to do? That was something I was curious about. These can only be set to distribution once they're full. Just roll over a bit. There we go. I don't think. And this is, again, this is another one of those, you know. That I wonder if, because I, I, I'm sure people have probably tried this already, I wonder if we can take this to the point over here, whether it can be put down, whether it would unload... I don't suppose it would, would it? Oh, no, I'm... I'm am I accidentally putting stuff into it by mistake? Um, I think we can only set it to distributing. pretty sure we can. If I do that now... The two of these that are full 400,000 litres will all go into that, which is not the end of the world, but I guess we can do that, can't we? As long as I've got enough of wood chips and I've got enough of restocking anyway. Let's pop that down. I, mean, I suppose I should really put those back onto it. I just wanted them full for the time being. So, let's so that's distributing. Pretty much all of it is going to go across the way. But we're going to do some more forestry. So, um, do I have to turn those on? I can never remember. There we go. So that will do it on the hour. So what I'm now waiting for is um lights, come on. So we can see what we're doing. That's what I'm gonna do.
just while I'm waiting for that. Put some of this on. I'm going to see how much farming I can get away with, with just this for the time being. Because on the back of this, I can put a plough. Should be able to put a plough on the back of this. Um, I should be able to put a cultivator on the back. Anything three-point link I can. I should be able to seed. Um, I, mean, I should be able to put a fertiliser spreader on the back. I, I should be able to do pretty much all of my work that you would use a tractor for with this. At least to start off with. be quite cool. Let's put a lane. Do that. Hop in. Start that up. Wood ship. Let's get that cracking away. How much is in at the moment? Not as much as I thought. That doesn't matter. I'll just keep that topped up. Like I say, on the hour, when that is going to be 8 o'clock in the morning, um, we'll see the wood leap up on here. And this, this is the one that's making us a load of money now. And I know I said it in the previous episode, but, I mean, like I say, starting off with that, then going to the charcoal production, that was a means to an end that got us on to getting that. When those built up enough money, we got that, and then we roll forward. Am I going to run any other productions? I don't know. Um, I was actually looking to see what other forestry ones there are. And it is mostly pellets or wood chip. There's quite a few different sawmills. Um, there's obviously the standard in-game ones. So we could put a standard in-game one. I know this is the one by Chris S and Riley S. So we can do all the premium, uh, the platinum expansion stuff. It's prefab walls, all those kind of things. I might set one of those up and running. It wouldn't hurt, would it? We've got, we've got plenty of lumber going on. And if we're going to extend out... I still want to get out to that other... Um, just trying to think now. Should I set myself a, a, a new target and say... The fact that we can now... The floor is no longer lava. But because what we were doing... We were aiming for that field. So even though the floor is not lava... You know what I'm going to do. We're still not allowed to plough a field. We still can't have actual fields for farming until we reach that that's still got to be the target otherwise that makes that a moot point that that was becomes an irrelevant concept the fact we can just log to our heart's content now would make life a little bit easier we've still got to raise enough money as i've said on previous episodes to either buy that one and then that one or this one and then this one um as i said that one is over a million that one's just under a million and that one <laughs> 760 so we need a we need a lot of money a fair bit of money but then if i buy that one or this one look at the size of the woodland we've then got available we should reach that no problem at all so having these new bits of equipment and the fact i can go anywhere it's going to make that a lot easier it's still going to be a long process it's still going to take absolutely ages but it does make it easier. And we are still aiming towards that pioneering aspect of once we can plough fields, we can then get farming. And as I said, this still gives me a few options without even buying a tractor, hopefully. That's going to be my, my curiosity of this, is how much can I do with this? As far as I can see in my head, pretty much anything. I can pick up bags of seeds and fertiliser and stuff with very different adapters. The front end with the reach we fine three-point link on the back i know there's palleted three-point links and you can do it with a lot of vehicles but because this comes out of the box with a few options like this it does make it um more user friendly so what i'm going to do is i think i've left my little skid load out there with the mulcher so we can start doing some stump grinding but let's head this out i'm just curious if i bought this now i'm going to be so annoyed if the harvester head's too small for cutting trees to <laughs> that would be <laughs> actually what I could do is I'm just thinking do I set the little tree cut length and st still keep doing full length trees if I'm if I'm using those containers technically I don't even need to strip them I I, I, I mean realistically I, unless I was stripping trees and putting them which I am doing for doing wood chipping and doing the other two 
I could just get this an attachment for the skid steer loaders that just cuts trees down, which would save me time using the hacksaw and not hacksaw, keeps on hacksaw, the bow saw. But if I'm just thinking, if I'm going to strip them completely and leave them whole, if they're each one's eight meters, I want to be. Oh no, I can't. Twelve meters as far as it goes. I was going to say I need to be sixteen meters or longer, so out to twenty, but I can't. So I'm going to have to cut these now. Where's my sunlight? Come on. No, it's saying sunlight and cloud, but. Right, I'm. Look! I'm off the track. It feels very weird. I'm trying to make sure every single time I didn't do it. Oh, please be big enough to cut this. Um. And I can tidy up my log piles using the blade. It's all wondrous. This is what I'm talking about with this, which is cool to have it on the front. I like a lot. I, I do need to get some of these stumps out. Uh, we do that and that, and then we do that down, not all the way to the ground. Then we can just neaten up our piles, so when we do come to collect them, they're all lined up and we come to stack them, they're nice and, nice, nice and neat and tidy. All nice and neat and tidy. Right, I'm going to wait for the sun to come up, we'll do a bit more, and then we'll get some stump grinding done. And we shall continue. I am going to run out of um, trees to cut, like I said, I am really... Well, I'll say that. Again, once the sun comes up, we'll take a bit of a drive out. You know what I need? I need a little motorbike to get around the area. Well, I thought I was going to fall back on me then. I can do smaller piles. Tree stump. Of course it would. All the places for it to hit.
it's 8 13 in the morning i changed those containers from um distributing back to storing because i had another plan oh the plan's just rolling in the sun is starting to come up you can see it's lighter across that side and as the sun goes up above the mountain it's, it's a bit cloudy at the moment um it should start to move across we should be fine but as you can see i've cleared a whole load more trees here i'm looking for a flat-ish spot oh, no, we're going to find a flat spot here um i know where there is at the top of that hill there over there there's a flat area across the top there which i might go and clear i'm just looking for my next factory i don't want to put them all in one place i want to spread them out a little bit but you might also notice i've been moving moving removing some stumps to make life a little bit easier um i'm going to put in the paper factory i'm, I'm looking for all these different mods i'm thinking oh what what could i use modded there's all the stuff in the platinum expansion there's all the productions all the stuff that we used on silver run is all available there's also the piano factory um from premium or the piano making um which as far as I'm aware, although that's under cell points, isn't it? I think you take planks there and it gradually makes the um, the piano. I mean, that being said, if we had a piano factory here, I don't know who would come and buy the piano <laughs> or pianos. We could do, but I'm thinking the paper factory is an obvious one. The paper and cardboard rolls, as far as I re recall, that just requires trees. Actually, we can double check, can't we? Let's go to production, go to factories. We scroll across, well, we might get lucky. We could we could go buying plots of land, doing our forestry. We could come across a mine shaft, you never know. Uh, yeah, just timber in, paper factory, 130 grand. We could afford to buy that now. It's another production. So I'm thinking rather than move all this lumber or bring another container up to fill it up, plus if I wait and what if we do put one in, if I can clear enough space up here, like I say, I'm just trying to look for a bit that's flat-ish. This is not too bad here. It might require a bit of landscaping. But I'm just thinking for the size of the building, we might get away with this area. So I might move some of these trees out of the way to give us a flat spot. Um, let's get that turned on. And we'll keep clearing the stumps as we go. Um, but as you can imagine, with a thousand trees cut down, I only cleared a few stumps and that was only on areas where I wanted to put stuff or I mean this gets rid of them in no time it's an absolute breeze and honestly it's so weird um, retraining your brain not to stick to the pathways but also incredibly refreshing not to have to it's just honestly it's um, it's very strange very cool but I'm also now thinking even though I'm trying to I'm doing all of this so I can free up time I'm still going to put as many hours into it it just means the hours I'm putting into it I'm going to get far more done I think it's probably more productive hours I think is, is the way of looking at it um, oh, is that the sunlight there we go the sun coming up so if I can clear a few of these and get those trees moved out of the way maybe we take down three or four more trees we might have a flat enough spot just think if i can get this done and get some paper manufacture underway as well in this episode we've been very productive oh that was that thing i was supposed to have it on times five wasn't i i'd completely forgotten i've got on times one that's oh, right i'll put it back on You know, this is going to take us even with this which is really quick compared to the blade one you kind of raise and lower the one that I was using previously um, God, can you imagine doing a thousand trees taking the stumps out of one of those anyway while I'm doing this massive shout out to um, all of my um, PayPal supporters massive shout out to anyone who's commented to my discord guys moderators admins anyone that's in the discord server thank you all for being you thank you to everyone that's been watching the channel watching what i'm doing thank you for the people that have been reaching out when i've been saying about i'm not sure where i'm going to go next what i'm going to do next thank you goggle pop um yeah just for, for all being you for being so friendly and helpful and kind and people have been reaching out with suggestions of what i could do on my next 
my next let's play where I should go what map I should do um, suggestions and you know I do appreciate it um, it's that kind of like I've said before it's a kind of a writer's block thing um, when you've done as many let's plays and storylines and starts for let's plays and as I, I have <laughs> over the years um, you do kind of get to a point you're thinking yeah, what do I do so yeah I do appreciate it thank you everybody I have purchased for just over a thousand one of those little mini bikes the ones that I really liked that said reminded me of the old well bikes the parachute regiment ones um, I'm going to show you that in a minute and I'm going to show you what I've been doing a bit further afield as well as you can probably tell this is all now the sun's coming up a little bit more you can see all the trackways I've been putting in and you can see they're almost the same distance apart as you go around because I could reach out one side and the other side for cutting trees down when I got to the point I couldn't reach any further I would go along and then I would put the next track in so I could reach out either side and then hopefully if I got my distances correct um, I could get all the trees in between um, and th those that I couldn't I would then use the uh, if I got my track positioning wrong I was then using the uh, the boards actually I can probably go in and collect all those boards up now I can sell all those back don't need all those I'm not going to spend the whole rest of the episode uh, removing tree stumps as you can imagine I've got other stuff to do but that's going to be another one of those off camera if I've got a spare hour or something <laughs> put on a bit of music and I'll just whiz around killing all the stumps it will just make life a little bit easier and that is the understatement of the century I've got the various different grabs as you saw in the front of the telehandler I have also got the CSZ pack big bag lifter again this is about you know if you do forestry you haven't done forestry this is your first look at forestry I did make life difficult for myself but I also at times will try and make life easier for myself and if you're doing forestry and you hate picking up logs with log grabs this from the CSZ pack and there's another one by Farm Centro Sul which is a big bag handler are an absolute godsend they, they honestly like I say if you've watched my channel you know I love these you know I use them and as far as forestry goes they're not realistic I may say to a degree I suppose it depends how you look at it if you were going to grab a load of trees tension strap them pick them up if I do that now it kind of tension straps them and off you go as long as you've got to wait sometimes they get a little bit jiggly sometimes they don't like being moved and you'll find stuff goes all over the place but for loading trailers and that kind of stuff if, if you just find it a real chore these revolutionize doing it I know people get asking are we going to get an auto load log trailer on console I don't think so at the moment because of the scripting involved if scripting on the base game gets changed it could happen it depends again whether the next evolution of the game I think the next evolution of the game and this is just me guessing will be next gen or new gen consoles only I don't think PS4 and the older gen Xboxes will be supported I, mean, I could be wrong um, if that is the case then the potential for, for certain things can alter um, it's not to say it will I'm just saying can you know but even without an auto log load log trailer things like this and we haven't had it yet actually on FS22 we've had a few of the um, the log uh, the tree harvesters there was that big John Deere one have we had it? I don't think we have they had tension straps as well on whole Mercra, that was again that thing was incredible big grab tension straps off you go job done let's move these out of the way I've just realised I've got a stump right in the way there be careful if you're using the stump grinder mulches or anything like that if you come up like this and you've got a stump like I've got in that corner and you've got a big pile of trees be careful because if you do that here to get rid of the stump you can remove trees as well if you spent ages cutting them and stacking them it can be a bit of a nightmare so actually what I'm going to do now I'll tidy the rest of those up in a little bit and we'll see if I've got enough room to put in the paper mill once I've cleared these I'll move the excavator out of the way if I can put it in we'll put it in now and we'll get cracking but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up around the back there and show you what we've been doing up there um, so we've gone right out to the edge and if you recall I put in my perimeters um, my trackways show the perimeter pretty much of the land we own so that goes right the way around the outside so we're currently here so we've only got from here to there 
and that's all of our section done. I'm all the way out to there, that's all cleared. I've cleared a strip up here, a strip across there, and a strip down there. I've cleared a strip down the middle there, and we are, where are we? Here-ish, I think. You'll see when we drive up there. When I'm up there with a the bike, we'll have a little marker. So we've got all of this left to, to remove tree. I mean, we've got a bit of forestry left, not as much as I would like, but then, like I said, with enough stuff stored, enough stuff ready to go, enough wood chip ready to go, I could probably run these facilities for the next few days and not run out and make enough money that we can then buy the next plot of land. I hope. So, here it is, look. I love this. I've got in JCB yellow, so this is this is part of the JCB range. When you buy yourself, there you go, look, log for life. It doesn't have a light, that's the only downside to it. Um, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm following the pathways. I like, must go on the pathway, mustn't leave the pathway. I'll lose my bit of equipment. No, it's fine. Um, so let's head up the hill. So we've logged all up to here. Yeah, so pretty much this trackway. So let's look back on the map now and see where we are. So yeah, okay, we are, we're pretty much level with this, this trackway. So we've got all the forestry between there and there, and all the forestry between there and there. So we've got a bit left. There's a nice flat spot up here, actually. I thought about putting the paper mill up here, but we could put another factory. There's so many different ones we could do. I'm just thinking of ones that just require logs, or ones that require planks, because we've got planks being produced, so we could do that. So as you can see, I cut a strip here, either side of where I put my pathway in here, and if we go right up to the top end, using my little trailer, and our little method we were using that I showed before, with our boards on. But I did widen the path out here. We're all the way out to here. And then bung left, because we're right at the top now. All the way out to here. So we've, we've done a fair bit, like I say, you know. Well over a thousand. And you can see what we've cleared down here as well. Awesome. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time just clearing that area, see if I can get the uh, paper mill in there. If we can, we'll get that put in. We'll get some logs put into that and we'll get that running. Look at that. Like I said, it looks like a small... A small yield nuclear device has gone off right in that dip and just blasted everything out, hasn't it? But even though it's just forestry, I know people are like, oh, don't you know, even though it's just forestry and I haven't set up an entire farm, I'm kind of looking at that thinking, whoa, we've cleared some trees and we've cleared, I mean, even without the not touching the floor, that's a lot of forestry on my own. Yeah, I'll go around and gather all those boards up so we don't need them anymore. Where is the other pile? There's a pile out here. In my little my little circle areas, I've put two of these in now, which are my kind of forestry deployment areas. You can't really see I mean, you can sort of see it underneath the textures there, but there you go, I've got some more boards there. So they can all go. Come and gather all those up. I'm really looking forward to what comes next now, because it's going to be um, a whole different proposition now. Awesome. It's in. 130 grand, it cost me 131,100 and something, I think it worked out, to get it put in. I've got a little bit of, oh, actually it's not too bad, I'll say, maybe a little bit of softening on the edge there. Not too bad here, it was fairly flat. I'll tell you what, it fits near perfectly. I do like the fact as well, it's almost like I know I've just I've now I've just built it, but it's almost like this old paper mill has been in the forest the whole time, and now it's sitting here, overlooking 
the new fangled production i don't know i might put another something else like i say there's another flat spot up there i just want to spread it out a little bit more rather than have it all you know i did sort of when i started this out say about in the description about can you start a logging empire from scratch but and then obviously the you know <laughs> without touching the floor um now my only problem i've got i've just realized is the logs point is here which means I can't... Ah, oh, that's a good point. You would normally need a log trailer. That's frustrating. Put them on the log trailer, you drive the log trailer through, and then you unload from the log trailer in that gap. Putting them in that way is not going to work. So I may have to purchase a log trailer, which means double handling a little bit. Oh no, actually to be fair, what time is it? 8.35. If I now set my containers to distributing, I wonder how it's going to distribute this. I've got 400,000 litres just under in those two containers. What's going to be curious at 9 o'clock is to see how it distributes them. I had it. I showed it kind of previous in the, in the previous episode. Between that one there, that carpent, carpentry, which is doing our pellets and some furniture, and our paper mill, and the other two productions. Will it still favour that one and put the bulk of it in there, or will it split them between this one and this one? Or will this one now become where the bulk of it goes to? I'm curious. I do still want to put a bit in here. Actually, before I forget though, let's go to that and put those back then. There you go. Yeah, so it's just wood in. That's all we need. Uh, so that one, distributing, and then that one, distributing. Awesome. So I wonder... I mean, the other way round this could be... Oh, I don't think this takes wood containers, does it? It requires the wood itself. I would say, if you could bring a wood container and put that in there, that'd work. But a trailer just may be the simple answer, might it? It might just be a simple trailer. And I say simple, you know. What have we got available? Don't have a lorry yet, but that's only 39 grand. That's not too expensive. I don't actually think I've got any... Uh, oh, I suppose there's that one there. 40 grand, though. There are cheap alternatives. Where's my go-to? I haven't got it, have I? I suppose that would work. Timber carrier. Attacher type. But does that require... That's wheel loader isn't it and it's still yeah I can still put it on the front but they're still going to stick out either way so that's not going to work is it um, unfortunately yeah I've got there's that normal one that, sorry, that normal one that one I normally use I'm going to have a look and see if I can find a a better timber trailer that we could maybe have a go at I also want to see whether or not it hasn't we haven't got the ability to plant uh, to place trees will it allow us to plant trees next episode we're gonna have a crack at that i'm assuming that's his combinations will that still attach to the excavator we've got don't see any reason why not and we've got the saplings there at 240 i'm sure we've got a modded version of those as well um hmm. some of these types without the crane I'll have a look see what we can find but we have got a few um, that were very close when I placed it I saw that and as I came around the corner I saw that and thought how is it placed a tree right in the middle but it hasn't that's the chimney pipe for that but that was pretty close I mean so that one, should I just leave that next to the... Mind you, I suppose anything coming out of that chimney could catch that tree on fire, can it? It just feels like there should be something around it. Nope, it's going to go. <laughs> I'm evil. Let's get the lights on. Bring that up, bring that in. Oh, this escalator. Have I mentioned I like it? 
Oh, it's so good. So easy to control, so easy to manipulate. Raise it up a little bit, boom. Take that to one side, wallop. Bit of boom and wallop, that's what you need. No need for the whoosh pedal on this, it doesn't go that fast, but... Oh, I'm going to put some hours on this. Oh, I am going to put some hours on this. Do I need to invest in a different tree harvester at this point? No, because, luckily for us... I'll say luckily for us. I mean, it's unlucky in that if it had been done another way, we'd be getting a lot more timber, a lot more bang for our buck. There are some larger trees which are taller, but the bases don't seem to be much smaller. Um, but we don't have any of the really thick trees. The really thick ones that require bigger harvesters, we don't have. There, I don't think there are any on the map. They're all this, this type, all the taller ones, which you can see over in the distance right over there. So we don't actually need, if it was a map where you had different plots with different sorts of trees and you got to a section where you had some of those real monsters, um, that harvester with that header would not cut them. It just wouldn't work. So you would need to go the next level up. Um, I, I don't know if we're going to need to. I, I really don't. I'm going to look for a trailer. It's, it's, it's a pain. I'll say it's, a, it's not really, it's not going to take that long, is it? Let's be honest. I mean, what we might do, we'll see how the container distributes. If it distributes really, really nicely and we get a fair chunk in here, I'm going to use those um, those containers to fill up and they can distribute to that one and to this one, if it works. Then all the trees I'm cutting down can be used for restocking the sawmill down there. I have also had a look at under production uh, and, and our factories. There is that sawmill part of platinum that one where is it that one there the sawmill that one's 156 which isn't too big either um and that one will do all those extra productions so the wood beams prefab walls all those kind of things that one could go up on this hillside when i've cleared some trees up here up on the flat up here maybe I know that'll give me multiple sawmills, but I really don't care. <laughs> I'm just, like I say, it's Brill. I might just skip ahead time now, or should I just use the time wisely and cut some more trees down rather than skipping ahead? Yeah, I'm going to cut some more trees down. I will see you just after nine, and we'll see how this has distributed. It's just gone nine o'clock. I'm down at the store and I have bought a trailer. I've got the trailer with side poles. This is a 30 foot trailer, which is what, nine meters? Something like that. To about here. I also went with the option of having the ramps in the back so we could load stuff onto it if we wanted to. We can drive stuff up on it. So the log poles can fold flat. My reason for buying this trailer was that my suspicions were correct. 400,000 liters that were stored between these two. On the hour, just under 7,000 litres went up there. <laughs> the rest went in here. <laughs> now, I don't know. I can't imagine it's the case. But I'm going to test it. Is proximity of an overriding factor? Because these have to be placed initially. They can be picked up. They can be moved around like toolboxes. There's a few different mods, like this box like the saw that we had as well where you first place it when you save the game go and come back that's where it will reset back to it will always be back here so whenever it's gone past the hour 
Is it because it's the closest point is that? And they're further away, and that's even further away. So I'm going to buy one of these, and I'm going to put it up over there by the paper mill. I'm going to add some wood into it, and then on the hour, if it all sells to here again, or defaults to there again, then that's not really a lot we can do about it. But at the moment, this is now sitting on 703,000 litres of wood. I mean, that's fantastic. It's going to chug away, but I wanted it to be a more even split up there. So that's what I'm going to do then. Take this up. All the other thing I was going to do was, I mean, considering we've got this building here, and it's a fairly large building, uh, it didn't even dawn on me before, but being up at there, at the paper mill, and looking down across here, I like that, and I'm going to use one of the rooms there, rather than staying a tent from now on. We're going to put our uh, sleep trigger up there, I think. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to demolish our tent, or pack it away. Oh, £24 for our tent. Um, the weird thing as well, I have had this situation... I'm assuming I've got to bring these back, because I can't find them in my inventory. I had this before, didn't I? I couldn't find them in my inventory. Let's put it there. Where's my little... Oh, there we go. Uh, sell. 69. So what I'll do, I'll go around and gather the rest of those up, because we don't need them anymore. Pile them all up here, and I'll sell all those, if I can remember where they all are. Actually, as I go around stump grinding, we probably should come across them. So we should be alright. So what I'm going to do now is head up. Start loading this up. We'll get the wood into the... Uh, the point. I went for a triple axle, because I thought it would be less weight on the attacher. Went for bumper pull, not gooseneck, for our telehandler. We've not got to move this stuff far, in all honesty, or at least not at the moment. And if we do our test with the... Um, I'm doing it again! Why am I following the road? I don't need to anymore. Stop it. But what is more concerning for me... Right, let's unfold those. There we go. I do that. Nice and wide, so I should get plenty on here. And we shall disconnect... Like that. Is that we... In cutting the trees down here, behind the uh, paper mill... We are right at our boundary here. I thought we had a bit further to go. That, I mean, that, that being said, we've still got a few trees in that direction. Once they're all clear, we're up there. Once we're up there, and they're all clear, everything just runs at that point. That's the point we're at. Scary as that sounds. So, actually, you know what I can do with the 7,000 that is we've got in here. Uh, another thing I'm going to do... That doesn't open, does it? Where's... Have we got a door anywhere that seems more... I might just put it by the steps, or I might just put it here, I'm not too sure. But we'll put our sleep trigger in. I can leave my little scooty. My little mobotike, just underneath there. And uh, if we go up to here... There we go. 6,628. That's all transferred over. So we'll do that and that. So at least that's running now. That sound like sound like the Death Star. Did the Death Star won the Imperial Destroyers. It's special. It's been official for a long time. Lost it. Lost it. Don't start doing the wiggly thing. If it does that, drop it to the ground. It settles them a little bit. There we go. It's a bit better. I have found in the past. There we go, I lose that one over. I need to get these a lot tighter in. That's not really helping, is it? I thought it was further on that. Right, I'm going to load them up, get the rest of this on. Let's get this producing. And that's it, so big changes. New equipment, another production. We're going to be heading off up there. Am I going to put another sawmill? Probably. Am I going to put in the... I might even do the piano thing. You know, I'm, I might. Can I attach the front here? Whoa, no, that was stupid. <laughs> what? I didn't even make it. Oh, mind you, it saved me back around doing all those. I was not expecting that to happen. I couldn't work out where I was attaching to. It's on the front of the... Uh 
and a hand and grab. Anyway, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.